rise of the super soldier, liquid armor, indestructible exoskeletons and weapons that never misrevealed as the future of warfare. Soldiers of the future will be trained using virtual reality headsets. Their bodies will be protected with self-healing armor and smart wetsuits. US military has developed a bullet that changes course on way to its target. And microdrones will help soldiers explore battlefields from a distance. War has been one of the greatest spurs to science in history. Developments as diverse and far-reaching as space travel, superglue, duct tape and microwaves owe their origins beneath camouflage netting and behind sandbags. Today's military innovations, though, are focused not just on getting the job done, but doing so as quickly as possible and bringing the soldiers home to their families in one piece. The Virtual Realities of War For example, simulations may already have a place in Air Force training, but soldiers can now put their skills to the test in virtual reality combat zones. Wearing head-mounted displays, HMD, or VR glasses such as Oculus Rift, soldiers can explore scenarios such as administering first aid to wounded comrades while under enemy fire, in a realistic 360-degree 3D environment that changes the image with the movement of the head and the body, via an inbuilt tracking system. Some battlefield simulation programs are even more realistic still. Polish troops train with integrated feedback that administers a small electric shock when the soldier gets shot. While the US Department of Defense is so committed to the idea, it wants every soldier to have a virtual avatar that can be customized to reflect their individual skills and weaknesses. Nimble and Agile Exoskeletons Elsewhere, soldiers powered by exoskeletons may have long been a staple of science fiction but they too becoming reality. Taken from the Greek word meaning out to skeleton, exoskeletons are inspired by the hardened shells of the insect world and involve a frame of hydraulics which magnify the leg and arm movements of the wearer, allowing them to take more effortless strides and carry greater weights. Military exoskeletons trialed as far back as the 1960s, such as General Electric's Hardiman, were able to increase the magnitude by a factor of 25. This made lifting 25 pounds, 11 kilograms, loads as easy for the wearer as lifting 1 pounds, 0.5 kilograms, and had force feedback, similar to an Xbox or PlayStation controller, so the operator could get an idea of the resistance that he or she was experiencing. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.